And welcome to YouTube audience back for CLG FC episode 61. Um, it is the regular season. We are kicking on still. We got 14 days to go until Carlton Sports Club. We are back to the normality that we've come to expect in the lower divisions. And that is that we are beating sides and we are a much better side. Uh, that's been the normality. This is probably just saying, yeah, praise the special bra. So... <clears throat> not saying that winning is a normality or we should expect to win every single game or anything like that, or it's not going to be fun if we don't crush everybody, but it's the fact that the last two seasons, the team has clearly been in a division that is lower than the skills that they have. And we have been very good at showcasing that. We'll say um, the start of this season, it was a little rough. We got absolutely peppered in the opening game, but still won it 2-0 thanks to, really, our keeper and, and whatnot. Um, and the second game, we conceded against 10 men and drew 1-1. So it was one of those things where it was like, we were looking like the step up in competition might become an issue for us this season. That was at least the concern. Now... After the last two games, it looks like we might actually be okay. It looks like we might actually be uh, still a little bit more skilled than this division um, contains. And that's kind of been the case. So, um, Luke Dodd is set to sign for Lord Raglan. Um, we have confirmed the deal. So, Dodd will leave the club. Um, it is a shame that he's leaving the club. He's been with us for a while. Uh, but he's just not good enough. I mean, he's a good player for most level 18 sides. He has the potential to be a level 16 right back in the future. And we don't plan on being uh, below level 16 in a few seasons time. So you can see he's kind of, it's kind of needed to, for him to move on. Uh, make parting comment to Dodd. I think, what's Dodd's relationship to us? Is he happy? Uh... Uh, he's a part of the, he's a, he has no real opinion of me. He's a part of the social group too. I'll make a parting comment. I'll just be like, look, uh, <clears throat> uh, good luck in your next step. I read enough to come to this, but the, no, I don't want to say that. Uh, no, like, why are all these shit? Why can't I just be like, hey, bud, listen. Good luck, mate. Okay. He's encouraged. That's good. That's good. Uh, cool. So he's off. Um, let's look at the post-match analysis real quick. I, uh, you know what? I, I fucking told myself I was gonna bring my phone in here too, and I had, I gave myself a 15-minute timer to do everything, and I, I, I forgot to grab the phone. So, uh, well, I'll do that in a second. Um, we do have the momentum looking pretty good. So, they didn't have a ton of momentum. Stand to St. Wilford's not really super competitive. They did have quite a few shots, though. That gave them decent XG. 0.78 to our 1.68. Here's last match passes for us. Again, that left-hand side has just been so vital to all of our success. Opposition last passes through the center of the pitch. They really didn't have a whole hell of a lot. Uh, and then goals from uh, inside the area. Um, we've been shooting very well uh, according to that chart. So there's that. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to kick to a BRB screen. I totally forgot my phone. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Sorry. So Lango under 21's limb reserves, a game that has impl implications for us. Um, how was the the board are disappointed with the decision allowed Luke Duck leading with free transfer? We filled in a sell on percentage clause, but he's a fucking amateur player. He's never going to be above level 16. Nobody's paying cash for him. I mean, really? Really? Is Sugarman my fucking board owner? What the fuck? Anyway. I'm just adjusting some volume sliders on Twitch and launching Winamp so I can play you guys some lovely music. Old school style. Let's kick on. I got 13 days until the tran the the next fixture. What a dumb request on the board. That's big for us, that draw. It means Lim are going to stay three points behind us. The, it, it puts... It's really... Where do Badger casuals slip up from here? I think that's the big thing. Put some more Team Bobby in there. But, to me, that's the big thing. Is like, Badger have just, I mean, they've blown everybody out of the water so far. It's insane. They, they have, like, what? They're 4-0-0. And, and I think they have 14 goals scored or something like that in their four games. It's just insane. Like, they're just actually... Very good this season. <clears throat> uh, I need to get the, the stream up on the phone. That was the other thing I need to do. Uh, let's see here. Hey, my channel. And lower all the volume down to zero. So I don't feed back into my own microphone. What level in the pyramid is this? This is level 17. So Lancashire and Cheshire Amateur Football League has traditionally <coughs> Premier Division, Division A, Division B, Division... Or I'm sorry. The Lancashire and Cheshire Amateur Football League traditionally has the Premier Division Division 1, Division 2, Division 3. And then Division A, Division B, and Division C are below that. Traditionally, Division A, B, and C were used for the reserve teams of the teams that of the clubs that were in the four levels above them. And only recently has that been changed so that clubs can enter at any level. And so we entered at level 20. We are now in level 17. So this is pretty far down the pyramid, uh, I will say. Um, let's go to weekly staff meeting. I'm not going to make a guy that doesn't play the vice captain. You know? Well, he's old. He's too old. He's being played as one of the above 18s in the under 18s league, so we'll keep him in the under 18s for now, but he's too old. He'll move up to the under 21s after this season. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. It's, uh, we're pretty far down there. What I like about the state, the database is, is very difficult because it will bug over seasons, so like, it's traditionally built so that if you have an under-21 side, for example, <clears throat> in the pyramid, the reserve side is allowed to be no more than one division, or no less, I should say, than one division above them. 
And if that reserve side gets relegated, then the under 21s automatically have to go down. Like, and it's, the database has tried to keep that intact, but it doesn't always work over the seasons and seasons and seasons and seasons. So it's getting a little, it's getting a little wonky, but it also tries to mock. Good luck, have fun. Thanks, Viv. It also tries to mock uh, what's called reassignment, or what I like to call reassignment. And that is that when a team gets promoted, especially down here in the very regional leagues, when a team gets promoted, they might actually serve, like, out of, say, say you get promoted out of Lancaster, Cheshire, amateur football. No. Uh, Billingham Synthonia. Not a Plymouth Argyle shirt. Billingham Symphonia. Um, they play way down in the pyramid. <laughs> They're like level 10, I think, Bill Billingham Synthonia. Maybe maybe 11 or 12. But um, the game tries to mimic reassignment in the sense that um, if you get promoted out of the, say, Lancashire and Cheshire Amateur Football League, you can go into, like, the Liverpool Football League or the Blackpool Football League, for example, and depending on where you're at in Lancashire, you know, <clears throat> it might want to promote you to, like, traditionally, you might go up to, say, the Liverpool Football League, but you might actually be closer to Blackpool, and they say, no, nah, there would be too much travel for you. Let's move you into the Blackpool, and you actually get reassigned. So... That's totally possible. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do the coaching courses after the season's over. So, like, Hillgate came up with us. That's the last Jolly Rancher I had. No worries. Hillgate came up with us last season. But instead of going from Division 8 to Division 3 like we did, they actually got reassigned. So, <clears throat> same with Manchester Saints Athletic the year prior. They went up from level A because Manchester is close to Lancashire, but there is a uh, a more Western Counties League that like they would have fit up more appropriate in. So instead of going up to Division Three, they pushed them over there so that they could be more regionalized. Uh, Eleven days to go until our next fixture. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, sorry, give me a second here. I'm looking at some messages that I got, some email, really, that I got through today that I haven't, haven't quite taken a look at yet. There we go. Cool. All right. Anyway, okay. Sorry. I'm just I you know what it's the one thing I make a note of every day to do and I I never remember to do it until I remember to do it and it's one of those things I I am so poor at multitasking anymore especially as I've gotten older so it's one of these things where I'm now the kind of guy that if I don't remember to do something I need to, at, like I shouldn't say if I don't remember to do it maybe a lot of people feel this way uh, but I'm I'm the kind of guy that now, the moment I remember there's something I have to do, I need to do it the, that like that instant. Otherwise, I will never remember to do it. <laughs> like that is the struggle that I have is that if I do not remember to do something, uh, and if, or if I do remember to do something and I don't do it right then and there, I am not gonna remember to do it at all. Uh, okay.
<clears throat> let's do leagues in focus. We do this every episode for YouTube. Let's do it now. It's popped up. We'll start in MLS where the leagues are winding down. We like to always keep track of MLS in the top five divisions in Europe or in England, as well as the top division or the division directly above us in the pyramid. So, uh, MLS, we have Montreal at the top in the East, 58 points. Now level on points with NYCFC, uh, only ahead on goal difference. Uh, so both of those have secured a playoff spot. Miami is third. They have a playoff spot. DC United is fourth. They finally have a playoff spot. This is an amazing song with an amazing game. Um, New England is fifth. Chicago sixth. Atlanta is seventh. So the Fire six, Atlanta seventh, uh, Columbus Crew are eighth, Philadelphia Union are ninth. They are two points in the playoffs ahead of Cincinnati, who is tenth. Charlotte are out, Nashville is out, Orlando City is out, New York Red Bulls are out. It is just, and Toronto FC is out. So literally, it is just Cincinnati left playing for a playoff spot in the East. In the West, it is the Galaxy at the top by eight points over Sporting Kansas City. Portland Timbers are third. Real Salt Lake fourth. LAFC is fifth. The Vancouver Whitecaps are sixth. Austin FC is seventh. Houston is eighth. The Dynamo eighth. And then Minnesota United is ninth by three points ahead of San Jose Earthquakes. Uh, Seattle is out, but St. Louis City is still in. Colorado Rapids are still in. FC Dallas are still in. And, yeah, so are San Jose. So, coming down to the wire here in MLS. Over in the Premier League, Villa lost their opening game, or their first game, I should say. They lost their first game to Chelsea, but it has not dented them or at least removed them from the top of the table. They are still top. City are second by two points. Newcastle third. Chelsea fourth. Arsenal are fifth. Far sixth. Sunderland is seventh. Everton are eighth. Ninth is Man United, 10th is Liverpool, and then my beloved West Ham is in 11th. And even better, even better, Spurs are 14th. Um, <clears throat> at the bottom, it is Brighton hanging on by just four goals over Brentford, who is in the drop. Norwich are three points adrift. Southampton still haven't won a game. They're 0-0-7. They got the bond going on. Three goals in seven games, 13 conceded. It's looking pretty rough for the Saints. Um, in the Skybet Championship, still Portsmouth at the top. Palace are second by three points. And uh, just two goals ahead of Sheffield United in the playoff places. In third, Blackburn Rovers fourth. Coventry City fifth. Birmingham City sixth. QPR, Luton Town, and Wolves are one point out of the playoff spots at the bottom. Lincoln City Imps are literally out of the drop by a point. Swansea City are in 22nd. Uh, Oxford United are three points adrift. Preston North End, sadly, four points adrift. Skybet League One, it's Plymouth Argyle at the top by a point. Burton Albion behind them. And in the promotion spot by a goal over Cardiff City. Stockport County um, is in fourth, and it's Reading. And Stoke in the playoff places. Fleetwood Town outside the playoff places by a uh, point. I'm going to play that song two more times because that's what we do. That's what I'd like to do. Um, uh, so, yeah, Fleetwood Town outside the playoffs by a point. At the bottom, it's Knotts County who are safe by a point. Cambridge United in 21st are a point adrift. Tranmere Rovers, two points adrift. Crew Alexandra have lifted themselves off the foot of the table. They're still four points adrift, though, in 23rd. And it's Chesterfield who have joined or has taken, I should say, the bottom spot in 24th. Four points adrift. Skybet League 2. <clears throat> the Dons of Wimbledon lead the league over Carlisle. So Carlisle's been pushed off the top for the first time in nine games after a, a loss and a draw in their last two. It's the Dons of Wimbledon who have let, yet to lose, <clears throat> who hold the top spot over Carlisle United. And then it's Far Green Rovers in third on goal difference by two goals over Grimsby Town, who are in fourth. Bristol Rovers also undefeated in fifth. Peterborough United six. Cheltenham Town in seventh by a single goal over Barrow and over Bradford City, or eighth and ninth. Swindon Town is a point outside the playoffs in tenth. The Vanarama National, AFC filed have now taken the top spot. Scunthorpe United have started their slide a little early down the table. They usually came really good at the start of the season, and then they came down with the Christmas tree. That's how it's been the last three seasons we've been playing, FM. 
This time it looks like they didn't wait till Christmas. AFC filed are at the top by goal difference. Three goals over South End United in second. Doncaster Rovers are third. East Life fourth. Scunthorpe now fifth after two losses and a draw in their last three. Torquay United are sixth. It is Maidenhead United in seventh. They're a point uh, ahead of Bromley, who are in eighth outside the playoffs. At the bottom, ooh, there's a lot of clubs down here on 10 points. Borumwood, Dorking Wanderers, Hartlepool United, who haven't been beaten in five now after being at the foot of the table for the start of the season, and obviously Woking as well. Uh, but Yeovil Town have moved into the bottom four uh, by a point. Harrogate Town are also at the bottom by two points. Oldham Athletic are in trouble again. They are a drift of safety by two points. Aldershot Town with them as well at the bottom on eight points. The division above us, Elton Limp Hargreaves now has the top spot. They are unbeaten. They are one of three unbeaten. Lord Raglan is in second. We actually just sold Luke Dodd to that club. Uh, Mill Hill Reserves are in third um, by goal difference, by one goal. And then it's uh, Fenisclau, uh and Pleasanton Reserves, who are fourth. They've come down off the top after a win. Or, I'm sorry, after a draw and a loss. Um, at the bottom, Croft Reserves are safe by two points over Langho Reserves. And Mill Hill St. Peter, who both have one point that is leagues in focus let's keep moving on go back thank you uh <clears throat> i just remember this is a title screen uh track so when it would do, when it would play you would have the unirace the unicycle be bouncing up and down as this is from uniracers so great game Fun racing game. Really hard racing game, too, by the way. We're going to get rid of those. And we're going to... Oh, we're also going to get rid of him. Great song. Um... What did I need to do? Oh, that's right. Okay. Now I'm like trying to remember what I, I have started and didn't complete. I it I I can't multitask for the life of me. There we go. Boom, boom. Let's go back here. Nothing doing in the news. Absolutely nothing doing in the news. Let's go back. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's the way. <clears throat> so, we got Carlton Sport Club 10 days away. Old Black Bernie. Badger Casuals are right there. Wow. That's kind of a tough stretch of uh, like a mini stretch of two games. Badger casuals and limb reserves. I know limb just dropped points. I, I, I completely understand that. Right. But Badger or there's still a decent side limb reserves, I should say. Right. Like that's the thing is, I mean, even we dropped points last season to the worst place team in the league. Still won the league. Like it just that's just football. Right. We know that. But. Uh, that Badgers game is going to be uh, tough. Sutton Rovers have made an approach in signing Callum Tomset, who has subbed... What the fuck? He's one of our... He's on an amateur contract. I'll tell you what. You are a impact sub, mate. Oh, he wants nothing. <laughs> he really doesn't want a whole hell of a lot. Uh, and I'm totally okay with giving it to him. The, 
the thing is with with Tom Set is that he might not actually even be a named sub the whole time, but um, yeah, but like Sutton Rovers are not like where are Sutton Rovers? East Lancashire, East Lincolnshire, or East Lincolnshire Football Combination Division Two. So. It's four levels above us. So, yes, he could go four levels up. He's probably still not getting paid. And we will pay him. So, that's the thing. Is does he want to be paid for his football? That's the question. Because if he just wants to play, by all means, he can go. I don't want to let him go, but he can go. But if he wants to get paid, then... There's definitely a spot for him here, and we'll definitely sub him in. Like, he's going to play games. So. <clears throat> Cookies is back, and Rollins gets injured. And, oh, it's two to three days. That's 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 nothing. So. But it's good to have Cookies back. So, Cookies. Where? Oh. That means Bishop's coming in full time on the sub. Uh, where is Cookies? Brindley is in the midfield. I I did just bring in Wellman. Like I did just sign Wellman too. Like that's the that's the thing. Do I Brindley is supposedly better, but the potential for Sam is is better still. So it's like, do you play Sam or do you play Ben Brindley, who's been Fucking phenomenal so far this season. He is actually the highest rated player. And I hate to bring Cookies back in for him. Uh, but um, I think Wellman goes to the bench. Or I think Wellman is is now no longer in the 16. We only get 16 down in these divisions. Uh, and I think Cookies does come back because obviously he is the starter. Cookies is the star. He is a community member as well. I mean, that's this is phenomenal stuff for a, an 18-year-old. But um, like, Brindley needs to remain on the squad because he's been. I mean, look at this mental for a level 17 player. You're remember, you're talking level 17. Obviously, this mental and this physical is not good enough to get anywhere close to a Bundesliga or a Premier League or a La Liga or even an MLS. But if you gave me these stats and said, this guy's a level 17, I'm going to be like, yeah, 100% I'm going to want him. I mean, just in his positional stats alone, 11, 11, 9, 11, 10, 12, 7, 11, 9, 8. Like, he's excellent. He's excellent. I mean, Ben Brindley is really excellent. I just, I can't get, I can't, oh, Union lost to LAFC. Fuck that. Um, you know, I just think he's he's so good for the division we're in. So the fact that we have him and he's playing well, he's playing incredible. I don't think you can justify removing him from the team. Or not selecting him. <clears throat> you know. It's even one of those things where he's playing so well, you think you think about not even bringing cookies back in the starting lineup. If this wasn't a community save, I, I would seriously be playing Ben, probably. Straight straight away. Like, just continuously playing him. <sighs> Nine days to go. I miss this game. I miss this game so much. There was not another game like it on the SNES. Uh, that's good. We are, what, eight days now? Still nine? Still nine, but we're going to be eight days. So. 
Uh, monthly finance update. We we have to finagle them to keep the players on the team. That's just the way it is, unfortunately. Um, here's our dates for October. So we have 14 days between this and Carlton Sports Club. Then we got a week between that and old Blackburnians reserves. And then it's two weeks at Badger Casuals. Um, after Badger, two weeks. What the? F oh, yeah. After Badger, a week and Lim. Two weeks in South Manchester, a week in Colne, and then two weeks in Rolls Reserves, a week in Langho under 21s, two weeks in and Standish St. Wilfred Reserves. Then it's three weeks between for, for Standish St. Wilfred's Reserves and Carlton Sports Club. And then it is, what, three more weeks until Black Bernie, old Black Burnian's Reserves. And then it's three more weeks to Badger Casuals. And then finally three more weeks to Lim Reserves. And then we conclude with another three-week gap between that and South Manchester. So literally after Christmas, after Christmas, every game is three weeks apart, which is unfortunate. We, we literally only have two games after the transfer window closes, Lim Reserves and South Manchester. So, <clears throat> you can apply the advice. Uh, let's see. That's fine. We're going to keep on moving on. So, I was playing Euro Truck today with a lot of uh, FM streamers. I should say a lot. Zig, he was D. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, so, we, uh, yeah, I look forward to playing that again. I might play it on stream, actually. Nice, fun, chill game, actually, I think. It would, would be good for stream. And I have played it before and, like, messed around and stuff in it, so. There is that, but. Uh, we'll see. I can always change the schedule that I have and, and add some Euro truck in there. <clears throat> it might be something where if we get bored of FM after 10 hours during the Olympic streams or after hearts of iron after 10 hours or whatever, that we throw it on. So that's always a possibility as well. All right, we got some news. He's happy that you're playing him. Yes, of course he is. Uh, oh, is that is that done? Oh, it's completed. That's good. Oh, I need to change uh, cookies from a ball-winning midfielder to a Mezcala because that's what he wants to fucking play. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, disappointed with the finances involved in the deal to sell Luke Dodd. Disappointed in the one-one draw. I mean, okay. You know what? Whatever. So. Let's keep moving on. Eight days to go. So we got the national. We got we got the under 18s next in the national under 18 Northwest League. They lead that. They've got. Bamber? Who's Bamber? I'm not 100% sure who Bamber is. <sighs> I have a golf appointment. A golf appointment. Oh my god. I have a tea time tomorrow morning. Golf appointment. Jesus, that's new. Yeah. I'm going golfing tomorrow at 6.45. I have actually already showered. Which is nice, so... Uh, I'm just going to go straight to the golf course. Uh, yes, they're available. Um, all this is fine, too. So. I'm looking forward to it. I, I haven't golfed as much as I wanted to this summer. I told myself 30 rounds this season. Tomorrow will be my seventh round this year. 
a season. Season opened April first. Season opened April first. Yeah. So April, May, June, July. So you got basically four months. And I've only played seven seven rounds. Frack. Oh, it's all. All that's fine. Two three days is fine. One two days is fine. The game's not for another eight days, so I'm okay with this. <clears throat> but I will say uh, we can't be having that as we get closer to game time. No more, none of the tight calves or anything like that. So, auto save, which means we're about to take over to seven to go. So, there it is. I'm looking forward to, I know I've said it before, but I'm really looking forward. Oh, hold on. I've had, uh, what is this? Oh, nice. Okay. That's not. There's a there's an app for Euro Truck Simulator called uh, Logbooks. Sorry, Trucks Book, and it's like you can form a company there. And people can join, and then you can link it up in game and convoy together, all through the game client. And it's it's actually. It's actually pretty neat. So you can look at like how much money you made and everything else. I took a job. Oh, it's not on here. Okay, I was gonna say, I took. I took. Oh, you yeah. okay? All right. I'm not. I was gonna say I took a job today that was in ETS two. That was, I think, Munchen to, uh, or it might have been Innsbruck, but I'm pretty sure it was Munchen to, uh, Malaga. And it's like, it's just a, it's going to be a long fucking haul. Uh, Wellman shines as Wait Wolf finds fitness for his Calogic uh, FC under 18s. We played Bamber Bridge. Under 18 to a 2 2 draw. Adams scored in the 41st. Reed in the 61st. Wellman two minutes later, but then Anderson for them two minutes. I'm sorry, Anderson for them in the 74th and that forced a 2 2 draw. So we still only have one loss. We still only. Um, we're still top, but Lemington under 18s could move level on points with our uh, youth side. So. It's something to be aware of. That'll tick us over to six to go. There's Carlton right there. We're going to have a well, Stylebridge under, uh, under 18s are also going to be. That's a fixture clash there. So, But still, uh, we got Carlton coming up. We'll see how we get on once we get to the fixture. A little bit longer processing episode today for the YouTube because... Well, it's two weeks instead of one. After Christmas, it's going to be brutal. Three weeks for every game. That's that's brutal. Uh, oh. 
Oh. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of players on this uh, Chuck's book. So, how about that? <clears throat> how about that? It's neat. It's a really neat. Uh, it's a really neat uh, feature. So it actually logs all your miles and everything as you uh, as you truck. So that's pretty cool. I need to get to the point where I have my own truck in the game. I, I don't have enough money for that yet. This job to, to Malaga I talked about will get me close. It was like sixty-four grand, I think, was the job. So it's like, and it was like thirty. 64,000 pounds, and I think it was something like, <clears throat> it was something like 34, 37 pounds per mile, somewhere around there. So it was decent on the, in the ergonomics of it, I guess you could say. But I just looked at it and said 64,000. I got no problem taking that job, so we'll see how we fare. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably try to complete that tomorrow. I'm not streaming tomorrow, so I'm I'm not streaming tomorrow because I'm I'm kind of prepping myself for when the Olympics start because obviously that Sunday after opening ceremonies, it's just it's just constant. It's just go. It's just streaming. It's just all day every day. Um, so it's one of those things where, like, the break from streaming I'll have during this upcoming week. Obviously, I'm still streaming during this upcoming week, but it will be, you know, like I'm taking a break tomorrow. I'm taking a break, I think, Thursday or next week, something like that. We'll go over the schedule in a minute, but that's fine. Oh, fuck. What did I do? What did I do with a Kony Kun? Did I change his fucking playing time? Did I change his playing time? I don't... Did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. If I did do that, squad. Agreed playing time. Star player. It's still there, so <clears throat> stop developing weaker foot. Uh, fool. I mean, Sila is still going to be useful for the. These guys are fine. I think these guys are fine. Um, press with Sean Warner over the last six months. He is now showing potential to be a level 15 left back. I mean, previously only shown the potential to be a level 16 standard player. That's good. That was nothing. Uh, so. <clears throat> well, we'll keep on moving on. I, oh God, give me a second. I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom. Okay. 
Sorry. I am back. Uh, let's see. The board have announced the... Oh, look at this. The board have announced the planned expansion to club's training facilities has been completed. So we got to bring up the youth facilities next to the youth level. But that's good. The training facilities are good. Uh, so he's happy that your promise, that you kept the promise at the club's training facilities would be improved. So there you go. Succeeded on that. Um, we just got to worry about cookies now. So that's good. So, woohoo. Okay. We'll keep on ticking down the days. Four to go now until the fixture. And we got better training facilities. That's always good. Always good to have better training facilities. Um, so... Let's see what's going on in the world of Twitter. If there's anything I need to pay attention to. Usually not. Usually it's crap. Uh. <laughs> so. Uh. Uh, look, I just shake my head at some people. Um, I do have to say, leaving esports is the best decision I have made. So, uh, it's just not what it. It's not what it means to be. It's not what it's meant to be. So, and every time I say to myself too. Oh, let me see if there's any news on Twitter or something. And I look at it, and I still follow some of the esports people in there. I'm like, yeah, it's good that I left. <laughs> it's 100% good that I left. So, I love this song. This is Booster's Tower. This is a quirky, fun little part of the game. Super Mario RPG, actually, you know, there's people who've played... Like, the Paper Mario games are pretty legendary, right? But they all came from, or spawned from this idea of Super Mario RPG. And they remade it for the Switch, I think. Which is great. <clears throat> but it's one of those things where it's like, there was it, the game was getting so old that there was genuinely a generation of Nintendo fans who had never played this game. Never heard of it. Like... It was just old Nintendo that they weren't really concerned with. And I'm like, guys, this was like peak ingenuity for Nintendo. Like, this is when Nintendo actually made good games. Like, now they make great software, or hardware. Sorry, they make great hardware. The Switch, the Wii was pretty innovative. But the games are the same, man. Like, I don't need another Zelda game. I don't really care for it. I don't need another, you know what I mean? Whatever. I, I don't really care for this stuff. So, uh, every time they do Nintendo Direct, it's like, we're just gonna, it's just another game that they're bringing back and making a next installment for, which is fine, but it's like, I can only take so much of that before. Like, I need originality as well, I guess, right? And this, that game was Original. Very original. Uh. Hey! To put an end to all the recent transfer speculation, Callum Tom said agreed to terms on a new one-year contract with 4500 quid. He's delighted to be working under... Oh, that's good. I'm glad he's getting paid, man. I'm glad he's getting paid. He decided to take the money. He's moving to Saudi Arabia. I don't think so. Excuse <laughs> me. He's moving to Saudi next. And no, he's... But I'm glad he decided to sign a contract. Because actually, I didn't want to have to scout a new AMC. Or AMR. So.
let's see what we got going on with uh, two days to go. We've uh, we've moved into two days to go before the Carlton Athletic. Oh, I meant to. Uh, fuck. Hang on. I totally, 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 totally forgot to mention uh, or message somebody I needed to on the side about a piece of business, and I, I just did, thankfully. Uh, Brooks on training, Fawn's training report. Hughes is eligible for a professional contract. I mean, he's... <clears throat> I don't know, mate. I don't know, mate. Currently operating at level 18. <sighs> this isn't bad, but... I mean, he plays... Really, he's unconvincing on the AML, but still, even if he's unconvincing on AML, the fact that he can play midfield and he can play AMC and potentially you can get him to be more comfortable on the AML... The... He dwells on the ball? No, thank you. <clears throat> All right. We'll take over to one to go. And then we'll be into it. Carlton Sports Club, one of the few non-reserve sides in the division, along with South Manchester, Badger Casuals as well. Um, oh, FF4, this one. I remember FF4. What One of the better... Man, there's so many games I want to play on stream. FF4, FF6, uh, Univers Univeracers would be nice. That game would agitate. That game would rage me. I just, it's so hard. Like you get up to, you get through the first three difficulties, it's fine, and then you get to that fourth one, it's just like Jesus, it's hard. Uh. <clears throat> But it was a fun game, Universers. I really want to play Super Mario RPG Legend of Seven Stars on stream. I really want to do that. I think it's a fun. I think it's just a great game. So, I that game was one of that that game was one of my fondest childhood memories. That that game was just so much fun. So, because that you know what it is, too. That was the first game where when I was young. And I was playing the SNES. I was very young. I was like four, five, six. Uh, maybe more like five to six, right? And I wasn't good at video games because I was five and six. You know what I mean? So my brother used to beat me all the time. Whenever we played Mario Kart, he was the first one to beat FF4 uh, and whatnot. And... Super Mario RPG was the first time when I sat down to play it, he, thank you, uh, he, um, we completed it, like, together at the same time. Like, I, you know what I mean? I was old enough when that, by the time that game came out, it was the end of the SNES's tenure. And I, we wound up playing it and pretty much beating it at the same time, which was nice. So... And then, of course, <clears throat> but we already we already have an under 18 set coach. I'm not going to remove a guy just because you want him gone. Like, but yeah, uh, 
that's one of the few gaming memories I have with my brother because he stopped he, after the SNES. He played a little bit of the PlayStation One, not a whole hell. Actually, he didn't really play the PlayStation One. He played the N sixty four a bit, um, but he didn't. After the N sixty four, he stopped. He didn't play anything. So let's uh, kick things off with the first question from Jack Calvert at the Daily Star. Then we wound up hating each other's guts for a while too, and then. Thankfully, that's died down. Uh, Carl Toto currently 8th place, 9 points behind lead leaders, Badger Casuals. They will be determined to get a win on Saturday, given their recent form. Uh, this could prove... And this could, could prove a tough game for you. Where is the question? Well, how is this good English? Um, it's going to be a tough match, but when players are at their best in these circumstances. You've had a bit of a break recently. Uh, how do you see it affecting your players? Uh, we've all been glad for the rest of the field, invigorated by it. Can Callum Thompson expect more first-team minutes after signing a new deal? Um, we need to be patient right now. It's exciting that he's committed his future to us, but there's work to be done before he's ready. And that'll move us into match day. We're confident of win. That's good. Players like my comment saying we're going to win. That's good. And we're about to tick over. It's going to be match day. There is the auto save, which means it's definitely time. Here we go. Carlton Sports Club. All right. We are the top building again. Second versus uh, eighth. Uh, whew. That's a big mid table clash too right there. The board and the fans, the supporters expect a win. We'll see if we can deliver it to them. They're going to be without Joe Jones due to suspension. <sighs> I, got, I got to get my pages up. I'm tired. I know that. I just, I did yard work, you know, today with everything going on. And I'm just like, because of the yard work, so, but. Let's, uh, let's get into it, shall we? Wondering what the under-18s result, which we should get first, will be like. <clears throat> we'll see if they can maintain the top spot in the under-18s league, of course. While we... Go there. Let's, uh, ooh, there we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, our Counter Logic FC under 18's win as Lawrence plays well. Uh, 3 2. Lawrence with a hat trick. He scored in the fifth, he scored in the 13th, he scored in the 62nd. He was 3 0 up himself over Stolly Bridge under 18's. And then Dean scored. Robinson pulled one back late, but we held on. The youth held on. Lemmington are two points back. We maintain the top spot in the under-18s league. Here's the fitness test. Everybody's capable. <clears throat> Everybody's good. We're ready. Let's get into it. I'm, I'm so ready. I don't know if we want to focus play down the right. I'm not convinced because we play so well off the left with Sheamus and whatnot. So. But 
But here we go. <clears throat> they are selected. Let me click stop on the win amp. And we are going to be ready to go. So here we go with the warm up here. They have made two changes to their previous uh, match. Obviously, John Jones, Joe, Joe Jones being one, he's suspended. So, but there's the team sheet. <sighs> so let's point the finger, and tell them. So I'm expecting a win today. There you go. They motivated. All right, all right, all right. and we are underway. Let's go. Great song. Carlton Sports Club. And Counter Logic FC. There we are on the table. <clears throat> and we're going to get things underway this time. At home versus... Carlton Sports Club. Uh, we'll see how we fare. Let's see if we can get a big win. Parks on the left. Twink. That is a bad pass. Christopher has it. Is it the end of the highlight? Fletcher? No, it's not. Now they have the ball. I think Hattegaard's offside by Miles. Yep, flag's going up. He is offside. So... Here's a free kick. Sheamus takes it short for Kony Kuhn. Back for Sheamus. Twinkle, who should be on. Twinkle, the cutback. It's blocked. It goes to Hedegaard. And he tries to clear it. Actually falls to Cookies. Cookies in his first game back. Cross goes in. It's out for a corner. Here's Frack to take it. Whipped in. And Webster... Manages to grab it. Here's Sheamus now with a corner here in the sixth minute. And that one goes right to Webster. Eighth minute now. Parks with a throw in Standish. St. I don't know. Milford's reserves scored 1 0. They, oh, Langho under 21s have just tied it. Jordan Coral in the eighth. Here's myself, Spaps. Back for Spaps. Here's a cross coming in. Akoni Kuhn's called for it in the box, and he's not got on top of it. Webster will put it, or it will be put over. Webster will put it back in play. Here's Parks in the 10th minute now for myself. Twinkle with space in the middle. Finds cookies between the center back and the left right back. And that is a deflected shot that Webster has to put over for a corner. Sheamus to take the corner now. <clears throat> Here's Sheamus. That is going straight to Webster again. Here is Carlton. Wilson has it. That one stepped into by a Konikun. Nicely done, but it's still in Carlton's possession. Here's Sanis. Had a guard. Over on the left for Ferguson. He might be on side here. Ferguson looking for the cross. It's blocked. It's out for a corner for Carlton. <clears throat> Carlton Sports Club with the corner. Ferguson to take. Here it is. Low corner. Whipped in strong. It's a pretty good idea. It's a pretty good header from Christopher, but it just was off target. It'll be a goal kick. Here's Twinkle for a Coney Coon. 20th minute now. Frack on the left. Sheamus as well. Overlap is there. Sheamus doesn't find it. He'll take it himself. Cut back for Twinkle. The slide tackle in certainly wasn't pretty. It goes to Frack. Frack cookies in the box. It's knocked down. Spaps can't win the header. Spaps the bicycle kick. And it's gone just wide of goal. Snicky takes a caution. I don't know why. 
but he but they've taken a caution. So Lango under twenty ones now leads Standish St. Wilfred's reserves. Two to one. Here's Sheamus. A coney coon. Frack. Frack. To Jack. Jack. To Frack. Frack for Sheamus. He might be off here. He might be offside. And, uh, yep, he is. There's, there's the whistle. A Konikun. Spaps. Spaps in the middle. Cookies. Cookies. Is he going to let rip? He's going to find Sheamus on the left. Sheamus is going to whip in the cross. Sneaky could be there. And that is headed away by Sinanis. And that will go out for a corner. So. <clears throat> CLG corner. Sheamus to take. This one much better. Whipped in. Headed away by Hadland. Here's Cookies. Finds Twinkle on the ground. Twinkle. The ball was knocked loose, but Cookies is there. The cross comes in. Sheamus can't get to it. Parks will let go out for a throw. Here is that throw. Parks for Spaps. For Cookies. Cookies. Oh, that's cheeky. That's cheeky. And that had to be put out for a corner. Because that was very clever work from Cookies. Now she must to take the corner. It's whipped in. It's headed up. Can Parks win it? No. That is a goal kick. Parks, uh, it just didn't get anything on it that was remotely good. And it goes out for a goal kick. 32nd minute now. Parks to Spaps on the right. Spaps. Looking for Sheamus. Oh, he finds it. What a ball from Spap. Sheamus is here. The cutback pass for Frack. Frack, it's knocked off his feet. Sheamus, a Cody Coons there, and it's blocked. And out for a corner. Frack to take the corner. Whipped in, and Webster will glove it down. Thirty-six minute. Parks for Spaps. Parks. And he's pedestrian on the ball. Parks. It, oh, he's taking it off of him. He's won it back. Fair play. Now the cross comes in. Sheamus! And it's just over. Wow. Thirty-seventh minute now. Jack for me. <clears throat> for Snicky. They've dropped deeper for the ball. Twinkle now. What a ball for Spaps. Great space. Great vision. Spaps has got it. Spaps with the cross. The Coney Coon far post. Marks heads it free. It's a race for it. Frack comes down with it. Frack with the touch. It's a little bit too heavy, so the cross will be blocked. But it will be a corner. Frack will take the corner. Whipped in, and this time Webster has to punch it. A Coney Coon for Sheamus. Sheamus turns. Won't shoot it. Frack back for Sheamus. For Frack, it's going to have to come all the way back. Yep, all the way out. Now for me. For Parks. That's a pretty poor pass. Ferguson slides to it. Parks will collect the loose ball, though. We'll try again here. Myself finds a, a little bit of space for Spaps. He took way too heavy a touch. Hadlin has come up with the ball to Sanis. Freeman heads it, but it only falls to me. Here's Parks for Twinkle. Twinkle. Cookies. I want to keep moving the ball forward. Cookies here. Akonikun trying to feed Sheamus in. Sheamus might be on side. Sheamus! And we have made the breakthrough. Sheamus with a cartwheel. I uh, yeah, oh I don't know. That's close. That's awfully tight actually. So no, oh he's on. I was looking at this player. He's on. There we go. So we are 1-0 in the lead. Sheamus has made the breakthrough. 
Here's Freeman off the kickoff. Sadis. Marks Hadegard for Parks. Right, Rick's knocked down by Parks. 41st minute, Webster gets restarted, but it goes to Wakonikun. Spaps is, it, it's knocked down for Spaps. Twinkle for Sheamus, and now can bring the ball forward plenty. Here's Frack. Twinkle. Twinkle looking for an option here. Finds Akunikun. Akunikun sneaky in space. The hands went up. Akunikun! And it's over. Couldn't quite get that on target. Really good steal from Sheamus. Here's Akunikun for Snicky. Now they can bring it forward. Snicky trying to dribble it away from the pressure. Frack to Sheamus. Working the left now is the team. Twinkle. Back for Sheamus. For Twinkle, for Akonikun. Nicely done. Now it's in for Cookies. Cookies goes for goal. But it is nowhere near the target. One minute is it. 1-0 at the half. They have not had a shot. They've been list, uh, restricted. <clears throat> so... Team's delighted. We're back out there. Cookies, I'm going to have to tell. Hey, bud, he's off tackles, will you? Uh, he might be the first replacement of the afternoon. We'll see. Christopher here, Sheamus. That is a foul. Here's a throw in. In the 50th minute, Frack for Twinkle. Twinkle gets a goal. That is a curving cross as well. It's knocked down. Here's Parks with it. Parks, what can he do with it? Parks, that's too heavy a dribble. But Freeman boots it clear. It'll come out to me. <clears throat> Here's Parks. Myself, that's a good ball over the top. I just can't run it down. Fifty second minute. There's Sadness for Freeman over the top. It's a good ball. Freeman's gonna knock it down and that it will have to be put out for a corner. Standish St. Wilfred's reserve, George Lofthouse in the 49th. They've leveled two apiece. This one whipped in. Ball still down. It's going to go to Ferguson. Back for Fletcher, and that absolutely flew across the face of goal, but thankfully was struck just wide. 54th minute. Cookies now. From Spaps. Here's Parks. Here's me. Here's Jack. Here's Twinkle. Sheamus might be off. Yep. Offsides for Sheamus. I meant to check the battery. Oh, 98. That's fine. Here's Jack with it. Well, that ball's pumped in. Sheamus almost got to it. It's just... Put behind for a corner here. Stand to St. Wilfred's. Douglas again. 3-2 in the league for them now over Langhorn. Or 21. So here's Frack to pump this one in. It's whipped in. It's headed clear. Oh, Lofthouse just scored again. Stand to St. Wilfred's 4-2 in the lead. Meanwhile, 1-0 here. Twinkle is going to be booked. <clears throat> Pretty pointless tackle. Really? Cross comes in. It's not going to anybody. Okay. 
happens to now I have two. I, I, I've subbed out one of the two that I could for the booking. I don't have a DM I can sub out now. Parks Masterclass right now. He is on a 7.3. Yeah, he's doing well. Hello, Pib. Welcome to stream. Hope you've been well. There's Snicky, Jack. We're 1 0 up. Just been busy. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm ready for vacation. I'm counting down the days, man. <clears throat> so I've I've had it rough this this past month. Uh, oh, Cookie's just taken a loan, but he's absolutely skied the finish. So my dad went in the hospital for four days, and my mom broke her back. So it's been it's been fucking awful, <laughs> honestly. But thankfully, my dad is better. He's good. My mom is starting to get she got pain meds for her back. So she's starting to feel it's like she's starting to do be able to do a little more, but she has an appointment all next week actually. So to evaluate the options for her back, so that like that's moving along thankfully. But uh, yeah, that's that's been the last with my mom. That's been the last three months. So oh, that's close. That was whipped across the top of the goal. I uh, just brushed the netting. So we need to make a sub. I think Snicky's coming off. I think we've got to put McKendy on. Uh, but aside from that, I'm doing good. I got vacation starting Friday. So after Friday, I'm on vacation for two weeks. So I'm going to watch the Olympics and stream, man. I'm not going to do anything else. It's going to be fantastic. So. But yeah. <clears throat> There's McKendy. He's on. I have, to, I have to think about Frack because he's kind of complacent here. So Sean Warner is going to come on for Frack. Here's Hedegaard. Running it down. That is put out for a throw-in. So we are out of subs to make. Here's Brat to me. To Parks. Brindley. Spaps, Brindley's been brilliant so far this season. Brindley tried to find McKendy, but just couldn't couldn't get there. Ten minutes to go, plus whatever stoppage. Here's Sanis over the top. Went meant for Lenormand. Cross comes in for Christopher. He's Lenormand's off sides. Thankfully. Cheaply given away. Here's uh, Sanis. Order, great header. Sheamus over the top. Meant for Parks. Parks does win the header. Twinkle here. Twinkle. Forward for Spaps. It's not well. Hadlin will uh, knock it down. And now it's potentially a chance for Carlton to build. Here's Sa Sanis. Ha Holland over the top. The Norman is off sides again. Hadlin, sorry, not Holland. Hadlin. Sanis with it now. Back to Hadlin. Hadlin could boot this forward. He will do so. Jack here to try and win the header. Does over Christopher. But Ferguson knocks it down. Here's Hadegard. Hadegard with it. Christopher might just have been off. Yeah, he was just looks like he was just leaning off sides there. Just leaning off sides. Here's Warner in the 84th now. For Sheamus. Back for Warner immediately. Warner, twinkle. Twinkle for Sheamus. Trying to tuck the ball inside. Now for Warner in space. Warner, plenty of space. Is he going to cross? He's going to drive it deeper. Warner does chip a cheeky cross for a Koenigun. Here's Twinkle. Twinkle. Brindley! Oh, man. And that's over. Brindley was in such a good position. He's really been just so so uh, lethal when getting into those positions really so far this season. She missed the word to twinkle. The cross comes in. Spaps on the back post! And it's wide. It is wide. Here's Parks with the throw. Second minute of added time out of four. Parks with a whipped across. Webster will punch it clear. 
And now here's Lenormand with it. Ferguson. Ferguson. Trying to look for it. Here's Oeki to Lenormand. Christopher Jack needs to take that, but Hanegaard will come down with it. Over to Fletcher. Fletcher stayed on. Here's Price. Marks. Oeki. Jack, oh, that's not a good header, Jack. It's gone right back to uh, Carlton Sports Club. Parks knocks it down. Parks will clear it. And that might be it. Jack has it. Jack will play it to Twinkle. We're waiting on the full-time whistle. Jack with it here. Warner on the left. A Coney Coon back to Warner <clears throat> for Twinkle. Twinkle is trying to, I don't know why he's chipped the keeper, but it won't matter. The full-time whistle goes, and we secure a 1-0 victory. If it wasn't the high-scoring game we're used to, we didn't have a ton of shots. I mean, we had a lot of shots, but nothing really on target. Only the goal, only Sheamus' 39th-minute goal was the thing on target. The entire game combined for both sides. XG 1.72 to 0 0.12, but... That, five half chances as well. But that is at least is another three points in the bag. <clears throat> Good. They're happy. Bum, 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 bum. So, Sweet Victory plays. It's 1-0, but it's still three points. <clears throat> Badger Casuals drop to second with their game in hand that will be played tomorrow versus Rolls Reserves. Cone United in the 29th from Jack Hutchinson led but in the 85th, Richard Lee for Old Black Burnians Reserves secures yet uh, another point for them. They are on seven now. We beat Carlton 1-0. Lim Reserves, it is Tom Jones. It's not unusual for him to score. He certainly did so here. 71st minute, and that gives Lim Reserves three points. Keeps them in the promotion race as well. Standish St. Wilfred's Reserves. Lofthouse the hero in that one. He scored in the fourth minute. Coral leveled it in the eighth before putting Langho under 21s ahead in the 20th minute. Lofthouse right after the break in the 49th equalized and then put Standish St. Wilfred's reserves ahead uh, in the 50. I'm sorry. It was Douglas that put him ahead in the 56. Lofthouse secured the three points with a goal in the 59th. They win 4-2. And so that's another three points for Standish St. Wilfred's reserves, who are also a little bit in this promotion race right now. Badger casuals, all eyes on them after our victory on Saturday. So now we move into Sunday, and it's going to be all eyes on them to see if they can keep pace and reclaim the top spot. So post-match press conference. Let's kick things off with Jack Calvert, Daily Star. A result takes Counter-Logic FC top of the league, although Badger Casuals have a game in hand. He must be pleased with that. Yes, I'm pleased. Nice for players and reward them for the way in which they go about their business. <clears throat> uh, how long do you think uh, we can stay unbeaten? Can it really last? If we continue to perform as we have, I think this run can go on for a long time. You're saying how well things are going to you fear the effects of complacency. I don't think so. I know my players are dedicated and I want to be consistently stout. What are you making a tactical battle? Oh, I found it fascinating. Plenty I can take away and learn from. It looked to be a superb defensive performance. Not one shot on goal allowed. Must be pleased. Our performance was complete. We played well in all places of the game and fully deserved the win. Sheamus was outstanding uh, standout performer. How do you gauge your award winning display? He's such a good player, but it makes a difference. And there you go. So, Sheamus signed to CLG win. <clears throat> Five unbeaten. So, there you go. 
but I haven't beaten in the league to start. Badger Casual is looking to do the same. They have a 100% record so far. We're going to have a cheeky save, and that is going to be the end of the episode on the YouTube. So if you were on YouTube, this was episode 61. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you for the next one, episode 62. It's the game before the Badger Casuals clash. That's the one everyone's looking forward to. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Take care.